So what you want to do is you want to head over to the GitHub page and you want to download the latest update for the 3DS port of DOSBox. You want to download the DOSBox-3DS.3DSX file. Then what you want to do is you want to take your SD card out of your Nintendo 3DS and you want to put it in your computer. And then you're going to go to the 3DS folder on your SD card. And you're going to create a folder called DOSBox, all one word. Then you're going to put the 3DSX file in there. And you also, on your SD card, will need to create a folder in the DOSBox folder called config. And then you're going to put the .config file in there. I will also have a link to the .config file in the description below. Once you have done this, you're going to head over to DOS Archive, where you can get free DOS games that are legal to download. And what you're going to do is you're going to find the game you want. Say I want Wacky Wheels. I'm going to download the installed version of Wacky Wheels. So once you have downloaded this, you're going to head over to your 3DS SD card. And on the root of the SD card, you're going to create a folder called DOS. Just call it DOS. It will be easier to type in. And then what you're going to do is you're going to make a folder on your desktop. No, uh, yeah, your desktop. And you're going to call it, let's say, Wacky Wheels. WW for Wacky Wheels. Then copy all the files that you've got from the zip you just downloaded. Copy them into this folder. Then you're going to close this. Close this. Um... And then you're going to copy that WW folder. You're going to copy that over to the SD card. Once you have done that, I'll show you the next part to do. So once you have done that, you're going to head over to the Homebrew channel. Which is right here. You're going to open the Homebrew channel. Then you're going to go to the DOSBox folder right there open up DOSBox the only thing with DOSBox is the text will be quite hard to read but what you're going to do is you're going to hold your stylus on this you're going to open up the keyboard and you're going to want to type in mount space C space then you want to click this and you want to go sh that line and you want to type in oh, hang on. you want to type in dos and then you want to click enter then it will say that's mounted and then you want to click c dot dot see it says it's mounted right there i don't know how well you can read that and then you want to proceed dot dot slash and then you want to go enter then you want to go back to here and type in d i r enter then you will get the directory of where you have stored your dos games and then what you are going to do is click i mean type in cd space then the folder you want to open so right now i want to open up Wacky Wheels, so I'll type in WW. Then, it, as you can see, it's changed to Wacky Wheels folder. So then I'll type in DIR, enter. Then you'll see a list of the files there. What we want to open is WW.exe. So I'll type in WW, enter. And there we go, Wacky Wheels should start loading can take a few seconds to load up but it will eventually load and there you go Wacky Wheels is now running on the 3DS
and all the keys on the key thing all the keys and controls work perfectly fine Note, if your game does run a little slow or doesn't run that good, you can go into this here and you can change the frame skip to 1 or you can change the cycles to higher cycles so the game will run better. But for most of the games I've played, they run perfectly playable without changing any of these settings. Wacky Wheels does look like it's running a tiny little bit slow. But I haven't played the original on DOS for a long, long time. So I don't remember actually how fast it's supposed to run. But as you can see, it's running perfectly playable. So yeah, if you need any help with this, please leave a comment down below and I'll reply back to you if you need any 